In this video, we're going to learn how to issue bonds at a premium. In previous videos, we discussed how to issue a bond at face value, where the contract rate is equal to the market rate. We discussed how to issue bonds at a discount, where the contract rate is less than the market rate. And now we're going to look at where the contract rate is greater than the market rate, which means we issue them at a premium. We can see that we issue these at a premium because it says we got $1,200 for the bond, which is more than the face value of $1,000. So let's figure out our premium amount. So we take our cash received, $1,200, minus the face value. And if we subtract what we got, minus the face value, we got 200 extra, so that would be a $200 premium. So let's make our journal entry. We issue bonds to get cash, so we got cash of $1,200. I'm going to skip a line to make this a point, and then I'm going to record the bond payable because we will pay them back the amount of the face value of the bond, $1,000. And then the difference for the amount we got and the amount we're going to pay is our premium. Remember we discussed that a debit um, a discount has a debit balance. Well, now we know that a premium has a credit balance. So we just discussed several different ways to tell if it's a premium. Up here, the contract rate is greater than the market rate. It's a premium. And then we got more cash than the face value of a bond. That's a premium. And we need a credit for our journal entry to balance that also tells us that's the premium. Okay, moving on. Now let's look at the second journal entry where we pay interest payments to our bondholders. And we're going to amortize our premium. All right, let's talk about our cash that we're going to pay first, okay? It will always be your face value times your interest rate, which is 6%, 0 .06, .06, times your time, which is semi-annual, which is every six months out of the year of 12 months. Change that setting to, to um, uh, general. And let me see if I can fix that for us. Um, If you put okay and then so if we multiply those together <clears throat> let me see if I can fix this I'm gonna pause the video and fix that real quick just in case you uh, come across this when you put in the uh, year, you need to make sure, I would have it set to number, so when you put in 6, 12, it brings back 0.5. So now you can use the product function if you want to, that might be easier than just highlighting. So $30 is your cash payment. So it's always your cash payment for your interest is always your face value times your interest rate times your time. I need to amortize my premium. That means slowly reduce the amount of the premium over the life of the bond. So I'm starting off with $200 of premium. I can see it here and here in the journal entry. So let's see how much we're going to amortize each period. So 200 and we have 10 periods because it's a five-year semi-annual. So five times two would be 10 periods. So if we divide the premium by your number of periods, you're going to amortize $20 each period. Okay, so to amortize a premium, a premium has a normal 
credit balance. If I want to reduce this, I need to uh, do the opposite and debit it. Each interest payment period by the amount we calculated, $20. Now I can solve for my interest expense by figuring out how much I need right here to make this journal entry balance. I have 30 on this side and 20 on the debit side, so I need 10 more to make my journal entry balance. And I got that because a premium reduces interest expense. You can also remember this rule for a discount you add to get interest expense and for a premium you subtract to get interest expense. And this makes sense because remember our contract rate is greater than the market rate. So over time we're getting that contract rate down to the market rate. So that's what we're doing here when we amortize this premium. Okay, and then part C, we're going to retire the bond at the end of the five years. Okay, so at year one, when we issued the bond, we put the bonds payable down for a thousand and the premium down for two hundred. Okay, so two credit values we add. So the carrying value right now we can say of the bond is twelve hundred dollars. So every six months we amortize our premium by twenty dollars. So we're going to do that ten times. And then the difference. of this would be, um, let me see if I can do it this way, the balance of your premium account when you retire it is zero. So I'm left with nothing in my premium and bonds payable of $1,000. So now my carrying value of the bond is $1,000 because I've amortized all of my premium and I've reduced my interest expense over time. Okay, so at the end of the five years, I'm going to reduce my bonds payable by the $1,000 and repay them the $1,000 I owe them. And that retires the bond.